Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Uh, today what I have behind me is a battery bank. Uh, it consists of three different sizes of batteries. They're all 12 volts and they're all lithium iron phosphate. The one to the left is a 200 amp hour 12 volt battery. The one in the middle is a 50 amp hour battery. And the one on the right is a 100 amp hour battery. Now my question is, what is the total amp hour capacity of this bank? Okay, so I just want to show you uh, the details of this bank. First of all, here's my battery tester. It's going to be running a 10 amp test. So this is going to take days to finish. But I just wanted to make it so it's a consistent 10 amp draw and that we get the results in perfect order. What we have is a watt cycle, 12 volt lithium iron phosphate battery. Uh, we have a time USB 50 amp 12 volt battery, 50 amp hour. And we also have the Red Odeo 100 amp hour 12 volt battery. Now we have them all connected in parallel, as you can see. And if I put an amp meter to it, you can see that there is very, very, very little amperage, actually almost zero amperage going between these batteries. And that means that they are very well balanced. And our tester shows that we are sitting at 14 volts. So this battery bank is 100% full. And that's what I wanted to start with. I actually charged them all up individually, and then I put them all in parallel and charged up the entire bank up to 14.2 volts. And they've been resting for about 10 minutes. When it comes to the tester, you can see that the positive is connected to the 200 amp hour battery and the negative is connected to the 100 amp hour battery. So that way the electricity is flowing throughout the whole bank and being tested with the tester. It's not just being uh, drawn from one battery first and then having to go through the line. So it should be as well set up as I could possibly do. So let's go ahead and just turn this on, get this test started. Like I said, we're going to do 10 amps. There we go. And so the reason I'm actually doing this test is I had, um, I had some comments lately uh, about another video of my 24 volt upgrade setup where uh, people were the, under the impression that just because I'm using different amp hour battery banks or different amp hour batteries in my battery bank, that I would only get the capacity of the lowest battery times the number of batteries that I'm using. And I don't believe that's correct. I believe that because of internal resistance, um, you will get a power draw from the batteries that's kind of comparable to the size of the battery. So the 100 amp uh, battery might get like a 4 amp draw while the 300 amp battery will get like a 12 amp draw at the same time. So that's why I wanted to do this test to kind to, to show that this kind of battery bank, even though I have a 50 amp hour battery in the middle and a 200 amp hour and a 100 amp hour, I should still be able to pull that 350 amps. Now actually I'm not sure if I'm going to pull all of the 350 amps. That's the question that I have, and that's the question that I want to find out for myself. I believe that I'm not gonna pull 350 amp hours. I believe I'm probably gonna pull about 345 amp hours. I'll just say that. So I'm gonna let this run for a few days, and when it's done, I will tell you the results. Okay, I just wanna give a quick update on our progress on this battery discharge. Uh, we are looking at 171 amp hours of discharge so far out of our 350 amp hour bank. And that kind of passes the idea that we would only get 150 amp hours if we multiplied the lowest battery by the number of batteries. So that's kind of going out the window. And our voltage right now is still 12.3 to 12.4. So I will see you again probably in another I don't know, eight to 10 hours, and we'll see where we're at. Okay, here we are about 10 hours later, and let's see what numbers we have. 
we can see that the voltage is still right between 12.3 and 12.4. Uh, we're at 272 amp hours, and it has been almost 27 hours since I started this test. So we are still going. Um, I believe that we have at least another, uh, probably another 70 amp hours before this test is done. So I will let you know when it's complete. Okay, our capacity test is done, so let's look at the results. And look at that. 359.16 amp hours out of this 350 amp hour bank, consisting of a 200 amp hour, a 50 amp hour, and a 100 amp hour. You can see that it is totally dead. All, all the BMSs are shut off because we've only got 0 0.07 volts. And it gave us a, a total of 4,429.79 watt hours. And this test took 35.35 hours. So 35 and a half hours. So this setup right here and this test really does go to show that when you combine different amp hour sizes of lithium iron phosphate batteries, as long as they're all the same voltage, it doesn't matter. It's going, to, it's going to keep equalizing each battery due to the resistance of each battery. And almost getting 360 amp hours uh, was well beyond what even I thought. I thought we were gonna get less because I, par I personally thought that a battery might shut down and something would happen. I don't know. That's why I wanted to do this test. So if you have any questions about how I actually did this test or if you think something is wrong with it, uh, please leave it in the comments. Thank you so much for watching this video and have a great day. Bye-bye.